Hey guys, in this video, we are going to take a look at the first official custom ROM based on Android Pie for our Galaxy S2016, which is the C Android 5.4, based on the latest security patch, and as you can see, also the Android version 9. So, without wasting more time, let's start. Okay, guys, first of all, let's go to the settings and the about phone. Do Android version, as you can see, it says Android 9 and C Android 5.4. And then we have the 5 May 29 security patch. Also, as you can see, Oxygen Kernel 5.0, which is a flashable kernel. So you have to flash this in order to boot the ROM. And this is built for J7 uh, 2016, so it's not a ported ROM. Uh, yeah, you can see baseband J710F X, and here you can see uh, the model number J710F. Let's take a look at the home screen. So this is the launcher, and we get this, uh, I guess, quick step launcher which is the updated launcher and you can see icons uh, home screen stuff and you can change it uh, there is a lot of uh, launcher customization available and it's better than Tribuchet but as you can see into the settings miscellaneous uh, ok it crashed before but now it works so yeah I don't know why but as you can see we have clear all uh, from recent and custom by recent uh, oneplus style so as you can see if I open multiple apps I can clear them off just by swapping down and as you can see the recent uh, is like the one plus so yeah it looks really good let's go into the settings and let's check the customization also the settings UI is from dot OS also you can see it looks really nice so they have picked it in their ROM and it looks really good as you can see the settings the owner and your profile and yeah the ui looks well then see added settings if you have status bar settings and a lot of settings are available you can set your uh, cr droid logo which is available here so it looks really good and you can have the hoj icon instead of the lt icon or the roaming indicator voltage icon but voltage won't work on our device because samsung has some limited source code uh, open so yeah you don't get voltage so yeah, you can see quick setting stuff, then lock screen, and Q clock is not yet added in here. You can see we have the dot, the spectre, the sneaky one, spidey one too. But Q clock is not yet added, so yeah, it will be added in the future versions. Like not every ROM is going to pick that Q clock. Like then all of the ROMs will be same. So navigation, as you can see, we have carbon gestures, we have swipe up gestures. One handed mode is on by default and you can swiping on the navigation button to okay so you have to enable the navigation bar first in order if you want to like actually use it so yeah as you can see it works like this you can swipe the navigation bar from left to right and it works well so that is how the one handed uh, customization sorry one handed ui looks like moving to buttons tab we have a disable hardware key dedicated button so you can disable the hardware keys if you are using the navigation bar then we have backlight we don't like actually have a backlight but yeah maybe the developer will remove it in the next build we have accidental touch we have advanced restart which is like enabled by default so that's awesome then we have power menu we have on the go mode which is like actually it looks like this uh, or maybe it's not working the on the go mode like it actually opens the camera in background and you can like just see the view through camera so yeah it is not working actually then we have screenshot oh sorry it's in power menu oh my god this is power menu sorry it will work i guess yeah as you can see it has opened the camera and it is working fine like yeah i was like really stupid just enabled it from here and i was saying it is not working then we have airplane mode lock screen all other stuff then we have uh your hardware button customization the home back the recents the volume buttons and the power button also user interface we have ambient display and we also have the always on display so let's check the always on display as you can see it works really fine and we have new notifications too so that the ambient display which actually is used you can use then we have animations and we have scrolling catch we don't have actually uh, Mm, yeah we don't have the screen lock animation yeah but yeah maybe i guess they should add it in the next uh, build 
then we have font manager and we get a lot of fonts you can choose from whatever it's like you want it the rounded corners uh, you can choose uh, rounded like to round the corners of your j7 so as you can see this is how it rounded in 13 dp so you can change it more to get it like this and also you can like configure the status bar extra padding if you have rounded some more icons but yeah default one looks good actually but it is just because if you want it to be then we have quick settings header style quick setting tile style let's change it to cookie and yeah just wait for some time to be updated as you can see the quick setting style has been updated preference switch change to one plus let's go back oops yeah it will just restart the system ui and as you can see the switch style has been changed to one plus then yeah we have some similar stuff like the dark mode and all so you can just switch to dark and actually the dark mode looks really great but we have an amulet device so we are going to switch to amulet black so yes it is restarted yes this is the amulet bag and you can choose accent color as you can see we have the user accent uh, user requested accents too i actually like this one the fluorescent green so i said this and yeah it looks good as you can see uh, also into the settings UI it looks great and matches with the icons and all so yeah this looks really great then we get the notifications tab and this is what all customizations are regarding notifications blink flashlight noise notifications in call vibration options uh, light brightness settings and this is I don't know what it is but yeah we don't have LED light but still this is present so maybe never should have removed this but yeah battery light notification light we don't have so we have there into the sounds charging sounds you can set charging sound from the media sound the audio like ones that small ones the volume steps the volume panel you can customize the volume panel volume panel on left so as you can see if i change the volume get it on left and if you want some more options you can add it here and it will appear here so if i want to add bluetooth and voice to it will appear here as you can see uh, all of the five are appeared and yeah this is how the full looks so yeah looks really nice getting back going to miscellaneous we have this toast icon product pocket detection show cpu info suspend actions into about cr dot we have the current change law official website translations and all other info and we have ot update like ot info support but we do not get the ot updater like which automatically updates this is just a notifier so as you can see it is officially supported and you can see the maintainer channel which is me check update and yeah you can like turn it to me or like just message in the telegram group and also compatible recovery which is the official one you can download forum and the g apps and the latest build which you will get directly here onto this page and you can download the latest build when it's available yeah now guys let's check the camera like all of the stuff is working here just some of the stuff like nfc and mtp is grayed out but it works like changing from the developer options camera is working but the quality is not that much great but yeah it's okay -ish. and here is me making videos uh, guys okay yeah that's it uh, video recording also works but some people reported it laggy uh yeah it is recording great like it is json 2016 so it will record and some people said the video uh player quality is really bad but yeah as you can see like whatever the json 2016 supports this quality from video the player works fine so yeah there are no such issues for here but yeah if you are playing some high resolution videos like 180p you may face a lag because it is not officially supported on your device because your device is 720p yep and guys my final verdict is this rom is really great it's really awesome and smooth unlike lineage os has some issues in there as this is based on lineage os it is actually same with a lot of customization and all but yeah a lot of improvements have been done over lineage os and the ui looks really nice with that system ui and customization and yes it has latest patches the latest version 
and the oxygen kernel which is also latest so actually this is a good option for those who are actually using some older firmwares or older ASP ROMs now it's time to switch to Pi because a lot of more Pi ROMs are coming also official Havoc OS is coming soon so yep guys wait for that also wait for the video so yeah this is for the official C R Droid review and yeah now let's switch to installation if you guys are actually uh, like if you know how to install like it has a small uh, update regarding installation like you have to do something else to boot it like oxygen kernel flashing so yeah let's take a look at it now i directly booted into the recovery but you can also press the volume up button uh, the volume up the power and the home button to boot your json 2016 into trp recovery then wipe dialog system data and cache uh, swipe to wipe like i don't know why it's not working but yeah install then you have to flash the cr droid version it may vary because if i push new updates then you have to update that then the open g apps if you want g apps and then the oxygen kernel now oxygen kernel the 5.0 version or the older 4.0 version whatever your choice is really important to boot because the kernels available are not compatible and in next build i will try to build it in line so that you have to just flash the rom so yeah i have built a kernel in that but it doesn't boot like so if you just flash the rom it will not boot but if you have like you have to flash oxygen kernel and the link for all of the uh, stuff like the roms the apps and oxygen kernels in the link in the description so yeah please check it out and let's skip this okay, so the rom actually uh, like the process ended oxygen kernel and it rebooted sorry for that like i added that uh, reboot after installation is complete so it booted and as you can see the ci droid boot animation this is the boot animation and yes it will take like a minute or so to boot it and then you can set up the device and proceed towards the google account setup and all then set up the device and enjoy and yes that's it for the video if you guys really like the video press the like button if not press the dislike button subscribe here for more videos for the galaxy j 16 and other devices on the channel and i'll see you guys in the next video with another j 16 or other devices so yeah bye bye i'll see you guys soon bye bye